When you think about the history of tennis, you must consider the brand Babala. They've been involved since the game's inception and what a fitting place for them to be located here in the beautifully historic city of Lyon. I think the most thing people don't know about Babola is that it is a family business, family-run company since five generations, and that we are existing since nearly 150 years now. I think a lot of people know the brand but don't know the, this kind of story behind it. Je vous indique que vos téléphones doivent être mis en mode silencieux dans les voitures que vous appelez. Lucien, tell me a little bit about yourself and how long you've been working with Babala. 37 years. September 81. September 81. And yesterday you were taking me around the Natural Guard factory. Can you give me a little bit of the history on Natural Guard? We, we moved to uh, Brittany because Brittany is the the main uh, land where we had, they had a lot of uh, cows. It's it's raining. Uh, raining makes good grass. Good grass make uh, good cows and make good gut for playing tennis. Uh, before the, the, the in 1875, it did start in Lyon. Uh, the, the neighborhood was Gerland, at part, and in Gerland was the huge slaughterhouse. And we are at the, for the same reason in in uh, in Britain. There was indeed plenty of grass to nourish the cows in the countryside of Brittany. With seven slaughterhouses surrounding Babala's gut factory, workers process locally sourced quality cow gut into the world's best natural gut tennis string. They need two cows for every one string, which is part of the reason Babala moved from Lyon. Because before cow gut, they used sheep gut. And we changed from sheep gut to uh, cow gut and uh, 70s, beginning 80s, because the racket went bigger and the tension was uh, higher. So imagine the quantity of, uh, of sheep and especially not cat gut, because imagine how many cats we have to kill to play one match. <laughs> okay, so thankfully no cats. But in the early 20th century, tennis grew in popularity, which led to the top players demanding thinner strings and above all, higher tensions. The famous Musketeers worked alongside Albert Babala to develop a string that would change the game. In 1925, the Musketeers were given string samples listed alphabetically. Once they had reached sample V, they stopped and said, V is superior, hence the name VS. V superior, VS. Worldwide demand for tennis products came immediately after the war, and manufacturers showed interest in synthetic materials. Third generation Paul Babala began distributing Babala products across the globe. To meet the demands of the growing game of tennis, Babala offered tennis players the option of synthetic strings. Athletes continued for years to dominate the tennis scene using Babala's strings, one of which was Bjorn Borg. I got to meet Borg in the early 90s when we were both training at the same tennis academy. He'd run out of rackets as he was stringing them so tightly with his VS Natural Gut Hybrid that the frames were breaking. I lent him one of mine as we were using the same model. He borrowed my racket and I did my best to borrow some of his style. It's a shame neither of us had a Babala racket. Just a few years later, the Pure Drive came along and revolutionized the game. Babola Rackets started in the mid-90s and was a, a big ambition for us as a brand after more than 100 Grand Slam won with our strings uh, to do the same with, uh, with tennis rackets. When uh, my father took the decision to bring the brand into racket, uh, it was obvious for us as a string company that uh, the bringing something that makes a good racket, which is a good frame and a good string, string bed, is, is very important. So we always design our racket in the idea that uh, the combination with the string bed uh, is important, as uh, we design our stringing machines in several to uh, make that this combination is, is the best. 50% of the performance of a racket is a string, uh, and 50% is a frame. So Clearly, when they came out with a new racket in '94, it was with a pure drive. And that's uh, when everything started to make a huge revolution. So four years after uh, Babola Racket launch in tennis, Carlos Moya won the French, and it was a, a great moment for us, the sign of the, the bet we did to go to tennis racket in addition to string accessory was on, on the good way. 
after the victory of Carlos Moya in Roland Garros and the company starting to really to take off because uh, lots of people were wondering what was this blue racket and so it was very exciting we received requests from people from everywhere and why because for the very first time they came up with a, a racket that was working for pro players as well as intermediate recreational level players. There was already control racket, there was already power racket, and there was not this kind of racket, and we were the one associated to that, and we created some way a new type of racket, which was for all kinds of players. And that was the beginning of the story, with the first racket, and that was really the, the start of uh, this crazy story. And then, another great time was uh, when we discovered a young kid called Rafael Nadal. And this kid was just amazing. And the guy here at the R&D discovered that he, he played a different way. The racket was doing this. And so they created the, the pure IO. It was called IO Pro Drive at, at the time. And uh, it was another, another level. All the innovation is coming from the players and I would say that this is the way we master innovation today, observation. Observation of the player. Not only to define um, the way he plays, but mostly to define the way he's interacting with his racket. Why we're based in NSC is because we wanted with Babola to shake things up in the soft goods industry and uh, on bags, apparels and shoes. NSC is the capital of uh, the outdoor, uh, we could say worldwide. Many of the big companies today have their headquarters or subsidiary here. And there's a big culture of product and product development. I think that uh, we can take the best of uh, what's happening in the running world or the outdoor world and try to see how could we mix it with the tennis knowledge and the tennis world and bring new things that has never been seen before. The footwork of players in tennis, uh, what we offer through shoes on the market today is still limited compared to what we will bring tomorrow. So a lot of innovation are, are going to, to go in that way to ease the footwork, to ease the rebound, to, to go faster on the ball, which is key for all players. Ball impact and footwork are the key to the game, and that's where we invest the most to bring performance, to bring innovation, to bring something that makes a difference. Nowadays, sometimes not so much an easy sport, but that's our thing, our duty as a major tennis brand to give reasons to younger audience to be tennis lovers in the future, that's important. Mm -hmm.